Hi, I'm excited to share with you today about my new book release called Worship the Father is Seeking After. It is honestly my most sovereign piece of work that the Lord has given me to write. He was giving me downloads quicker than I could write it or type it. I believe, according to John 4, 22, that the Father is seeking a generation to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And in this book, we dive into what that means. What is the Father looking for? What does worshiping in spirit and in truth mean? And then I give you four key principles, as well as examples of how to raise up a generation to worship the Father in the way that He's seeking after. This book is written for children's leaders, it's written for, written for youth leaders, as well as parents. One of the first key principles that I address in this book is to give a generation a purpose for their worship. I often say, give them a target, give them a reason to worship. It is so hard to get anybody to engage in anything that they don't have a reason for doing it. And so often we um, worship in church and our church culture with tradition and religion and both adults and children alike, we don't have a clue sometimes as to why we do what we do in worship. We just do it because that's what you do in church. We need to begin to give a generation a purpose, a target for their worship. And according to the word that is always to be in the presence of God, to dwell in his presence. Number two is to redefine worship for a generation. This is so important because however we lead a generation into worship is how we are going to define worship to that generation. So think about it for a minute, children's leaders. How do you every Sunday tell your children to get up and let's worship the Lord. Is it leading them in song? Is it with lyrics? Is it with dance and hand motions? And is that all you do? Because whatever you do is how you're gonna define worship for a generation. So we really need to evaluate how we are defining it. In my book, I, I define worship as simple as this. The response of the heart to the love of the Father. The response of the heart to the love of the Father. And we dive in and discuss about what that would look like and examples about defining worship in a different way to a generation. And number three, the, the third key principle in raising up a generation to worship as the Father is seeking is to use God's biblical pattern in His Word. God gave Moses in the Old Testament a biblical pattern for the tabernacle so that he may come and dwell with his children. There's the purpose again, to dwell in the presence of the Father. We are the temple, we are the priest, and we, we give ourselves as a living sacrifice over to the Lord to worship him with all of our heart, our soul, and our mind. And within the word, he's given us a pattern to get into the Holy of Holies, to get a generation into the presence of a Holy Father and how we must do that. And so the fourth key principle is one that's near and dear to my heart, and that's the oil on our garments. You see, there's a scripture um, that talks about the oil that ran down Aaron's beards unto his garments and into the next generation because the priesthood was a family ministry. And I believe that today we must begin to evaluate the oil on our own garments. If we're going to lead a generation into authentic worship in spirit and truth, we must be about that ourselves. We must begin to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Take time out to do that and make sure that our garments are saturated in the oil. That, that our oil may rub off onto the next generation. Because if we don't have oil rubbing off onto the next generation, we have our own flesh. Which one do we want to give? I know the answer for me is I want to give the oil of the Father's presence to the next generation. And so the last chapter of the book just simply talks about the fruit of a generation worshiping in spirit and in truth. We will see God 
he can't help himself but to respond to that type of worshiper and to, re and to give his glory. You see, the manifestation of God's glory is the result of a generation worshiping in spirit and in truth. We're trying to receive his glory. We're trying to get a generation into revival that doesn't have a clue how to worship him in spirit and in truth. And that, my friend, will never happen. We've got to start with the foundation and then the fruit. We will see the glory of God come and we won't have to do a thing. He will do it all. So I'm excited to share with you this book. It's not a humongous book. It's not a large book. So you will be able to read it quite quickly. Um, and parents, you will have time to be able to read it and be able to glean from it for your, your children, your next scene. And so please get it. It's available on Amazon. It's available on our website, chosenstones.org. And I believe if it's not already, it will be available as a um, download through kidsandministry.org. Um, so please um, take, um, take advantage of this divine and sovereign work. I know that God's hand was on this book. And I know that he wants to get it. Um, into our hands and to the leaders of the body so that we can raise up a generation who will worship in the way the Father is seeking. Amen. God bless.